make somebody else feel safe. This is a psychological, damaging psychological mind game that is going on. And that is a psychological burden. I know there's a law that talks about the psychological issue in a, in a Michigan statute somewhere, and I wish I had that memorized, but I don't. But this is what's happening. So my daughter is going around school, and, and not only that, she has this, she has this exemption, but then she goes, the, the staff is like, put it up, put it up over your nose, put up the students are policing her, put it up over your nose. And she's doing that to get through the moment, but she then feels like she has to explain what her medical condition is, but that's nobody's business. That's between herself, her right. doctor, and me. I am her mother. When you, when I come, when she comes home and I talk about these things, none of you are there. The school isn't there. I'm the one having to help retrain my daughter's thinking to what is correct, that her medical needs are her own. And she has to take care of those. She's not responsible for anybody else to feel safe. That's their responsibility. Yeah. COVID. I 
pregnancy, yeah. COVID. I'm not going to make my daughter take a COVID test to be seen by a doctor. It's ridiculous. Thank you. Dan here? Dan? Dan Gibbett? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Kinsey Nelson Bird's in that I apologize. Hi, I'm Kinsey Nelson. I live in Walt Lake. I have three kids. I homeschool one of them. One is in private school and one goes to public high school. And since this pandemic has started, I've been on a quest for truth, just trying to find answers. And through it all, I met some really wonderful people. And um, I was hoping to get to know some of you, I, because honestly, I've been trying to figure out exactly what the board of commissioners does in regards to the health mandate. And I, I'm, I'm just saying number 20, item number 20 on the agenda. Um, and I am not in favor of that, and neither are my kids. And um, in fact, uh, they couldn't be here tonight, but they wanted me to speak on their behalf. So I wanted to share uh, what they said. I cannot breathe. It is hard for me to breathe in a mask. My teachers will tell me to put my mask up, and I will listen, but it is not worth it. I cannot breathe in my mask. I have crazy side effects. The side effects are for me is it is hard for me to breathe in the mask. I get drowsy and I cannot stay focused. It is really hard for me to stay focused when I'm only breathing in carbon dioxide. Also, my friend had my teacher come up to him because his mask kept falling down under his nose and she came up to him and tightened it, touched his face. Um, to tighten his mask for him and to make it harder for him to breathe. He has asthma too. That should not happen. That should not be allowed. All masks are children. So this is job. That's my kid. He's going to go. That was the first time I was hearing it. She took my phone and said, I'm going to go when she went in the closet and recorded what she wanted to say. Um, and this was my nine year old. I hate masks. Every time I was at school, I couldn't breathe, and everybody would tell me to put my mask up, and I would get so mad, and I can't breathe, so I can't wear a mask, and kids can't wear a mask, so I'm Oh! <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I would, uh, I couldn't breathe in it, so all the water for my mouth, so my feet would make it wet, and I couldn't breathe, and it would get all soggy and stuff, and it would be so sweaty on my face. So, those are your words. I, I did not tell them that. And I agree with the gentleman that went before me a little bit that this is a, a war, a battle, not, not that we can see. Not like the battle, the cruel war, World War II, where we saw the cruelty and now we know the history of that but a lot of that wasn't even discovered until the damage was already done when thousands of Jews had died so none of us knew it and we don't know the effects that the, the mass have on the kids now Thank you. we don't know the long-term effects I live in Wilkesville, McKenzie, and my other friends over here. Um, they asked me to come up and just say a couple of words. I don't have much to say. I don't have any really prepared some notes I took, but I essentially want to do everybody in this room because I think there's been some fabulous information. But you don't need much more from me. But I do have to ask the group what drives the decision, as you can see, that some people want to be masked and some people don't. But what drives the decision to say we have to be masked? Hear it from the kids. The kids are struggling, struggling. Everybody's struggling. Half of us wear masks, half of us don't. So I ask, is it an issue with control? Do we have to control the people? Do we have to control the populace? Yep. Is it fear? I'm yep. afraid that if somebody comes into my school and comes down sick, they're going to sue us and I'm in trouble. Is that the case? Then I could get a lot of support from the group too and say, hey, you know, 
Let it stand, let it be as it is. So if something is driving the decision, I haven't gotten down to the bottom of it, I, I, I hope to meet with more reports to really understand that because if we could get to that root and kind of get to the bottom of that, we might be able to work together as a team. Yeah. And I'm thinking also, um, why wouldn't we be the county that could live with those that are masked and those that aren't masked? Yes. And, 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 and essentially say, we're at peace with this, we're okay. Okay, we object in, in some areas, but it used to be Democrats, I don't know if they are or not, or Republicans, okay, we disagree at this point, but you know what? We're all here for the same purpose. Right. I'm not seeing this here. We got this battle going on, strong lines being drawn. We got kids, the kids, kids in the middle of all this, which, which should never be. So I would ask to be considered somehow to find a way that we can live peacefully with the mass group and not a mass group. And I think that can be achieved. Hi, my name is Ryan Johnson. I live in Troy. I have one son in Troy uh, Elementary. So, as I understand it, you have a motion here to just to decide whether you're going to debate whether or not to allow schools to decide whether to have a mask mandate or not. Are you serious? No. <laughs> So, the mask mandate as issued by the county was always illegal. Has been since day one. It took the state legislature passing a new uh, Section 250 new building law to make it more abundantly clear because apparently you weren't getting it. Now, you're trying to hoist the responsibility of youth law, the power that youth law, over to the schools. It's kind of like a shell game. Oh, last year the governor took unconstitutional power away from the people and ran our lives. Then this year you're running it, running the same unconstitutional game at the county level. And now when all lawsuits are mounting, the pressure's mounting, and the state and the state legislature has emphatically told you you can't do it. Now you're trying to shell game it over to the schools. It was always illegal. That means it is still illegal for the schools to do it as well. So MCL three zero one three zero seven is illegal four different ways by that law. And I know there's a few attorneys that have claimed, oh, well, it's not because of X, Y. 2016, the state legislature said, hey, this law was passed in 1976. It's not really super clear. So why don't we update our, our, our compliance with it? In 2017 or 2018, the state uh, education board did. They published a 29-page compliance document that's available online for everybody to read. On page 18, it very specifically says uh, that a school therapist has the option to recommend an adaptive device or a safety device. Not a medical device, adaptive or safety. And it very specifically says why it may be recommended is it's the parent's choice. You know why they didn't recommend, didn't say that they could recommend a medical device? Because that is strictly between doctor and patient. Yeah. None of you have any That's control right. to do that. Yeah. Now, another gentleman said we're in a war. He's right. There's a global war going on, and this nonsense is being fought across, across countries across the world right now. We're in a revolution here. It's a communist revolution, and you guys keep trying to grab more power than you're allowed to have over our lives. And we're done with it. Thank you.